morning, ladies and gentlemen of the pan fishing world and Arizona. So, it is almost 6 o'clock in the morning. It is getting to fall. Sunrise is a little bit later. And I am headed for one of the local ponds. I got a new cast net. It is a very cheap one. I did that on purpose because it's a local pond. I'm not on a boat. I'm not going for uh, fancy casts. I don't have to cast more than a few feet from shore and I don't want to twist the shit out of my back. So, uh, you know, it was like a $20 cheapie off of eBay. I haggled with the seller for a while because he wanted uh, quite a bit more. Got him down to 19 with taxes about $20.46 or so cents. I got all my conventional stuff. I got a five gallon bucket for the bait. I got a uh, new set of batteries for my bubbler. Should be good to go. I am going to take my uh, medium light finesse rod for incidental bigger fish and my uh, Daiwa temporary rod. Well, it's not temporary. We back up when I get my Pansassin fixed. So I take my uh, Laguna 7 foot 2 with the 2 pound for the crappie. We throw in curly tails, jigs, and uh, shad. My goal is to get a limit of edible size crappie. I know there's not a size limit. Uh, I am going to observe the rules of the ponds, even though there's nothing posted on this particular pond, and stick to 10 max for crappie. You know, it's unlimited for sunfish, so if I happen to get a big enough gill, I'll probably take it too. I have had the uh, idea to take a edible 13-inch uh, minimum bass home, and that is certainly within my legal right according to the rules of game of fish, but if I catch enough crappie and maybe a tilapia or two, then I'm not going to worry about doing that, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, I will definitely take a couple of meaty tilapia home because they give great fillets. So it's going to give me a chance to get used to this new cat net, cast net. It is a uh, mullet size mesh, so it will have a tendency to miss uh, getting some of the smaller baits stuck in the net like happens. And uh, honestly, I'm looking more for that two and a half to three inch size shed anyway. And I think it'll go pretty good. Uh, it's 83 degrees right now. It's starting to cool down. I have a while before to start getting truly hot. I got plenty of water with me. I've, I've learned lessons. I've become very cognizant of staying hydrated. And uh, honestly, uh, I do a lot better on the water when I have constant supply of water. So it's one of those factors that I factor in now. Honestly, it's. Uh, definitely a priority in my my brain because I live and I fish in Arizona but I've had a tendency to kind of ignore it here and there and uh, I can't do that anymore being 52 years old but I'm on my way so we'll see what happens